In this video, we'll be looking at finding the arc length and area of sectors when it comes to circles. So first off, as a reminder, to find the circumference of a circle, we do 2 times, the, times pi times the radius, or another formula that we learned for that, of course, was pi times the diameter. So if I want to find the circumference of this circle, I'm given the radius of 2 pi r. So 2 pi times 8 is 16 pi. That's the circumference. When I come over here, I'm given the diameter, so pi d, which is just going to be 12 pi meters. So that's just a quick review of how to find the circumference. Now, let's say I give you the circumference. Can we go back and find the diameter? Sure. Circumference equals pi d. So 12 pi equals pi d. The pi's cancel out, so the diameter is 12, which makes the radius 6. All right, so let's talk about what arc length versus arc measure. So up to now, we've talked about the measure of an arc, how many degrees it was. So for example, this would be 160 degrees. Now we're going to talk about the actual length of it. How long is that piece of the arc? So 4 pi centimeters would be an example of how long it is. And the measure of the arc would be 160 degrees, because that's how many degrees it is. So there are differences between the two. So first off, what is the measure of angle M here? Well, this is a diameter, so it's a semicircle. So it has to be 180. And how does that compare to 360? Well, it's half. So when we look at the circle, what's the circumference? Well, if the radius is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, so 8 pi would be my radius. So if I want to know what the length of AB is, the actual arc length, I would have to say, well, I'm taking half of the circle. If the whole circle is 8 pi, then half would be 4 pi. So I'm doing exactly half. Here's another example with it. What is the measure of angle M? Well, it's 90 degrees. How does that compare to 360? That's a fourth. The circumference would be 4 times 2, so 8 pi. And if I want to know the length of AB, then I'd say, well, I need to take a fourth of the whole circumference, because I only want a fourth of the circle. So 1 fourth of 8 would be 2 pi. So let's look at the formula that goes along with this. There's a proportion we can set up any time we're looking for arc length. And that is to say that the arc length over the circumference equals the central angle, so the angle measure, over 360. 360 will be a constant because it's 360 degrees in a circle. In other words, what we're saying is the part of the circle we're looking for over the total circle equals the part of the angle of the circle we're looking for over the total circle. So let's see how that works. So I want to find my arc length. So let's start. Do I know my arc length? No. So I'm going to say L over circumference, so circumference is 12, is the radius, so 2 times 12 is 24 pi. So arc length over 24 pi equals the angle in the middle, okay, so for arc AB the angle is 30, over 360. Now just cross multiply. 360 times the arc length equals 24 times 30. And don't forget to put pi there, so 720 pi. And now to get arc length by itself, we divide both sides by 360. So 720 divided by 360 is 2 pi meters. All right, I want you to pause and see if you can do this one correctly. All right, let's see how you did. So we're looking for arc AC. So first we need to find the circumference. Radius is 9, so 18 pi inches, because we've got to double it. So I say arc length over 18 pi equals the angle of 120 over 360. Cross multiply, so 360 times the arc length equals 18 times 120, which is 2160 pi. Divide both sides by 360 now, and I get as my answer 6 pi inches. So the length of the actual arc AC is 6 pi inches. All right, on these we're going to have to work slightly differently, so let's try number three out together. I'm now looking for the angle in the middle that I do not know. So first off, do I know the arc length? Yes, it tells me it's 3 pi. Sorry, let's say 3 pi here. Over the total circumference, so let's see, 6 is the radius, so 12 pi will be the diameter, equals the angle, which I don't know, over 360. First off, whenever you have pi over pi, they cancel out. So let's cross-multiply now. 1080 equals 12m, 
and divide by 12 for your final answer. And I get that that angle in the middle is 90 degrees. Let's try this one out. So the arc length is 2.5 pi over circumference, which, ooh, I don't know the circumference, equals the angle over 360. Cross multiply, you get 900 pi equals 150 times the circumference, divide by 150, so the circumference is 6 pi, oh, sorry, that's radius there. The circumference is 6 pi centimeters. So then the radius will be half of 6, which is 3 centimeters. All right, so that's how we do arc length. Now let's review area, because we're doing both area and arc length today. If I want to know the area of this circle, the formula is pi r squared, which means pi times the radius squared, which in this case would be 64 pi, because 8 squared is 64. Now let's say I tell you that the area is 36 pi. We can go backwards and find the radius and diameter. Pi's cancel. Take the square root, so the radius is 6 diameter of 12. Now, let's just say I want to know the area of a portion of a circle instead of the whole circle. Do you think we can use the same proportion? Well, turns out that we can, except for we're going to, instead of saying arc length, we're going to say the area of the sector that we're looking for over the total area of the circle equals the angle over 360. So once again, instead of arc length on top, it's the area of the sector over the total area. So an example would be looking for a slice of pie, how much is there? So the right side stay the same, but now we're just moving this to area. Because area is the inside portion, arc length is the outside. So let's try it out. Here we have the circle, and I want to know the area of sector, this shaded sector here. So I need to do the area of sector, which I don't know, over the total area, so my radius is 12. So 12 squared is 144 pi meters squared equals the angle of 30 over 360. Cross multiply, so 360 times the area of the sector equals 144 times 30, which is 4320 pi. Now we divide by 360, so 4320 divided by 360 gives me an area of 12 pi meters squared. Pause and try number two. All right, so area of sector over total area, so 9 squared is 81 pi inches squared. So 81 pi goes here, equals the angle over 360. Cross multiply, 360 area of the sector, equals 81 times 120, which is 9720 pi. Divide by 360, and I get 27 pi inches squared as the area of the sector. Uh, let's try two more where we're going to have to work a little bit backwards. In this case, I tell you the area of the sector is 5 pi. So up top goes 5 pi over total area. So radius is 6, so 6 squared is 36. And then pi equals the angle over 360. Once again, pi is cancel. Cross multiply here. 1,800 equals 36 times the angle. Divide by 36 on both sides. And I get that that angle in the center is 50 degrees. And the last one, the area of the sector, I'm told, is 4 pi over the area of the circle, which I don't know, equals 160 over 360. Cross multiply, I get 1440 pi equals 160 times the area of the circle. Divide by 160 now. And I get that the area of the circle equals 9 pi. Now, it wants to know the radius. So pi r squared equals 9 pi. Pi's cancel, take the square root, so the radius is 3. So please practice your homework on the arc length and circumference, and thank you for watching.